Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am very excited to be unboxing the Test Tube Beauty Box for summer of 2023. Now if you're unfamiliar with the Test Tube Beauty Box, this is a quarterly beauty box where each quarter you get all sorts of beauty products inside from skincare, hair care, beauty or makeup and everything in between. It does tend to be um, less makeup heavy, more skincare and hair care, body care heavy. And the test tube beauty box is put out by New Beauty and the New Beauty team does vet all of the products and they do provide so much information with each of the products. Um, this box used to be bi-monthly um, but now it is quarterly so it comes once a season and so today we are unboxing the summer box. I do pay for this box with my own money. Um, the box is $59 a quarter. You can get it a little bit cheaper if you do sign up annually and you're supposed to get $350 worth of product inside. So if you're interested in signing up, I will leave a link down below. With that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina and on my channel, I unbox lots of different subscription boxes, including quarterly lifestyle boxes. So if you like this test tube beauty unboxing video, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And let's dive in. I am so happy that you're here hanging out with me today unboxing this box. There are spoilers and stuff, but I haven't looked. So I have no idea what's inside of this box, which makes it so much more fun. All right, when you open it up, that is what it looks like. Okay, and double sneak peek, look how much stuff is inside. There's a ton. So you do get a little card that says, hello, Summer. Um, they do have a QR code that you can scan and it will have all the details and they really provide really great information on everything inside of the box. All right, so I pulled up the pamphlet or magazine, whatever you wanna call it, on my iPad in front of me. And the first thing out is from Dermalogica. This is their Dynamic Skin Recovery SPF 50, which retails for $79. So we get a $79 product and a $59 box. So if you already wanted to try this product, this is an absolutely amazing way to get it. So this is what it looks like outside of the packaging. Um, this is a three in one daily moisturizer that visibly firms, hydrates and protects skin with broad spectrum SPF 50. Um, it has a unique polypeptide blend that helps to improve the appearance of photo age skin while protecting against free radicals and delivering long lasting hydration. It also has a non greasy formula, which is amazing. Um, and you want to put this on obviously about 30 minutes before sun exposure. Okay. Um, I, for some reason, I think this was just an SPF and not just like a moisturizer. And this is very intriguing to me. One, I'm pale, so I definitely need to be wearing my SPF. And I will say that my skin is oily and has a really hard time taking to face SPFs. Like there's a lot that it breaks out and is like, absolutely not. I'm gonna pump a little bit of this out just to kind of see what it feels like. I mean, it looks like a sunscreen would or like a moisturizer. It has kind of like, a, does it have a sunscreen scent to it? It kind of has a sunscreen scent to it. It is very hydrating and, and it is going into the skin. I like the way that it makes my skin feel. I can't tell if it's like sunscreen scent. It has a little bit of like that type of scent to it. Hmm, my skin feels like hydrated and plump, but also kind of matte, not matte, but like, you know. Okay, I'm very um, intrigued. I wanna wear this a little bit. I wanna wear it under makeup to see if this one would work under makeup. For me, there are some sunscreens that I can wear under makeup and there are some that just like, that's not gonna work. It just, my face like melts off. So, really, really excited to try this out. Perfect for summer. Um, if it doesn't work under makeup, my, 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 my makeup, <laughs> makeup, then it will be great for. Now, if this doesn't work under makeup, then this will be great for pool days or days where I'm going to be outside and I'm not going to wear makeup or anything like that. So, very, very excited for this first product. All right, up next we have a little tiny little bottle here. This is from Mineral Fusion, and this is their cuticle oil nail treatment, which retails for $9.99, and you can purchase it on Amazon. I wonder where does it smell? If it smells good or anything like that. No, I don't smell anything at all. Um, so this is a vegan, cruelty-free um, cuticle oil with 99% naturally derived ingredients. Um, this accelerates the drying time of freshly applied nail polish and protects from damage and chipping and um, nourishes and hydrates 
the cuticles. So how to use it, you apply one small drop on the center of each freshly cleaned nail, and then you wait one minute, and then gently massage into nails and cuticles. Okay, I'll be honest, I'm not a big <laughs> cuticle oil type of person. Maybe I should be, um, but I don't really do my nails, so I just don't really do cuticle oil. So I might put this one in a future giveaway just because I'm not really, just not really a big fan of this. I feel like this is more of a, maybe I'm wrong. I feel like maybe it's more of a winter product, but I do know that, you know, people in the summer like to have their nails done and stuff. So I don't know, definitely not a bad product. It's one that I'm not excited about, but it's because I don't use cuticle oil. And if you're into cuticle oil, this does look like it would be a good one. Okay, up next we have a brand that I have not heard of before. This is the Clina Soothe Plus Skin Purifier. This retails for $27.95. What does this do? It says, protects skin from pollutants and impurities, prevents breakouts, and promotes rapid recovery. A revolutionary new step in your skincare routine. Okay, I don't understand what this is. <laughs> so let's see what this looks like. Is it a toner? It's very liquid, so it feels like type of, a type of toner, potentially. But we're gonna read more. Um, so this is a first of its kind product in clean skincare. This is a highly stable, alcohol-free, hydrating mist that provides a high purity hypochlorous acid solution. Wait, mist? It's not a mist. It's definitely like the dunk kind. Okay, I don't really know what that means. I don't know why it says a mist. That makes no sense. Um, okay. This balances skin's micro microbiome, protects skin from pollutants and impurities, prevents breakouts, and promotes rapid skin recovery from redness, irritation, acne, and more. Okay, how do you use it? You use after cleansing and, bef and before applying skincare. You pour onto a cotton pad and wipe gently across your face and body. Use daily and often for a clearer skin. No need to rinse. I'm really confused. I'm excited about it because I could go for, my skin needs help right now. I haven't done a face mask in a couple weeks and so my skin needs something, probably a face mask. Um, I can't tell and you'll have to let me know down in the comments, like is this a toner or do you do this before you do a toner? Cause this is before skincare, before applying skincare. Does toner count as skincare? I don't know. Um, but this seems like it's acting kind of like a toner, like a toner step in a skincare routine. So I'm curious, definitely let me know down below whether or not you've tried this, if that's the way to use it. This is vegan friendly and cruelty free. It does say once you open it, it only lasts three months. I guess maybe because it is clean skincare and since I just opened it, I guess I'm gonna have to try this out. I, my skin really does need something like this right now. So I am excited and I do think the packaging is nice. It's a good size. How many, what, how, what size is this? I don't even know. Does it even? say oh 8.5 fluid ounces or 250 milliliters so it is a really good size and i definitely am going to try it out um i'm probably going to use it kind of like a toner and we'll see how that goes but if you have any other tips on how to use this definitely let me know down below Ooh, very excited for the next product because like i said i'm an oily skinned gal and this is the jory acne and control primer which retails for 70 dollars so pretty expensive for a primer, I'm not gonna lie. So this is what it looks like. Now from the Jory with the RX, it gives me an, I, I feel like there's gonna be like type of product, like, you know, like kind of like prescription-y type products that are not prescription, if that makes sense. Um, so this is a weightless medicated primer. Okay, that makes sense. That works over time to reduce shine, blur pores and treat skin a treat and prevent breakout, excuse me. You can wear it on its own for a silky finish or under makeup for a smooth application and longer wear. Okay. I hope I don't like fall in love with this because I'm not spending $70 on a primer. For me, that's just not gonna happen, but I do wanna put a little bit on my skin to see. Okay, it's like a clear or kind of like a yellow, it has a yellow tinted gel to it. Um, I don't really smell anything. I like the way this feels because it actually is pretty hydrating. Um, I prefer a hydrating type primer, even though I have oily um, skin and things like that, I find that silicone primers actually makes my skin look worse and makes my it's everything move around during the day. This kind of seems like it might be really, really good for me and my skin. So I am definitely gonna be testing this out like the next time that I do my makeup because I don't know this and honestly the packaging is really really cute so i'm super excited about this i really hope i don't like it though because <laughs> it's 70 dollars um you do get coupon codes for a lot of the brands in this so if you get this then you can there's like a 20 percent off coupon code if you do want to order some so just know that of, of this brand at least there's different coupon codes if you do like some of the stuff all right up next we have a product from artiste this is going to be their elite collection oval three brush mirror finish which retails for 45 dollars so it comes all fancy in this little bag okay oh wow 
Um, I know that these type of brushes were like super in for a while. This feels very nice. I feel like Artiste was one of the nice ones and this feels extremely nice quality because I guess it's the Elite line. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I said it, but it does retail for $45. So I guess this could be good for like contour like nose contour okay what do they say here so this is professional luxury quality makeup brush that features a small oval shaped fiber 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 oh my gosh fiber bundle that helps to ease and enhance the distribution of makeup formulas including liquid cream and powder products it gives you tips on how to use it for both liquid and for powder products on here for i don't know for this specific one the oval three i mean i feel like maybe like for like contour like tight type contouring is what i would use this for like a nose contour probably is what i would use this for so it's really nice it does say artiste on it this is like a silicone there and the bristles feel super soft i just don't tend to use a lot of brushes like this and personally i don't really do a lot of nose contour um what other things could you use this brush for like besides like really tight contour is there other uses for it um, but it is a nice makeup brush, so very cool. Up next, we have a product from Unite Hair, and this is their U Oil. Um, this retails for $49.50, so really, really, really great retail values for a $59 box. Um, so this is just a hair oil. It has a nice little pump. I'm going to open it the wrong way because I do want to see what it smells like. Huh. I don't not like the smell. It's not my favorite smell. It smells good. It kind of smells like grape. Like a little like fruity grape. I don't know. It's not like my favorite. Oh, it has argan oil in it. Maybe that's what argan oil smells like. I don't really know. But the packaging of this is super cute, especially for a summer box. So this is a multitasking argan oil that hydrates and shine, tames frizz and flyaways, and seals and protects all hair types and textures. Um, it manages to quickly smooth dry and damage ends and also reduces blow dry time. So you use one to three pumps on damp to dry hair. Um, and it can be used before heat tools for moisture shine and protection. Or you can use it on dry hair to eliminate frizz and seal dried ends. I don't tend to use a lot of oil in my products in my hair. When you have blonde hair, I feel like you do have to be careful about putting oils in your hair and making your hair look shiny and greasy. I feel like if you have like brown or like darker hair colors, like oils are amazing. But when you have like blonde hair, it can make you look greasy and gross really fast. But this is intriguing to me. So I may have to give this one a try. Up next, we have something from Face Reality Skincare, and this is their Sulfur Spot Treatment, which retails for $31. Again, really great retail values in here. Um, I, this tends to be for acne, and I don't, I have oily skin, but I don't really have acne that needs something like this. This is what the bottle looks like. So this is a gentle yet potent combination of 6% sulfur and an innovative peptide that provides a quick fix for angry blemishes. Well, then it's invisible application. The product allows you to spot on the sly or spot treat on the sly. So you add a small amount to breakouts and after applying serums and acne medications, um, you allow one to two minutes for the treatment to dry and then follow with a moisturizer and sunscreen. Okay. Um, for me, I don't tend to get a lot of acne that would require something like this, but it is always good to have on hand in case you do have one of those like really horrible moments. I t my skin tends to get bad because I'll get like blackheads and then sometimes they get big and I'll pick them and then it becomes more than what it needs to be, if that makes sense, um, versus like true, just like on its own acne. Um, but I am excited to have this in my collection. All right, up next we have a product from the European Wax Center and this is their treat face and body detoxifying mask. Now this does not have a retail value on it. I'm not really sure why it doesn't have a retail value on it. Um, I feel like they have European wax centers like everywhere because you can get your brows waxed. I've gone there, like I went there a long time ago to get my brows waxed and then I realized that my brows don't really need to be waxed. I can just pluck them and trim them and they're fine. I mean, you can obviously get other things waxed there too. But this mask is an excellent choice for those who are curious about how to get rid of ingrown hair and bumps in between waxes. It's formulated with uh, glycolic acid, AHAs, and salicylic acid, BHAs, tea tree oil, and vitamin C to clear pores and treat ingrowns and breakouts. Um, this mask is gynecologist tested, dermatologist tested, and alcohol and fragrance free. So I guess you could use this in your like down there region <laughs> uh, based on that. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but because it's dermatologist tested, I would assume that, but you might want to, it does say you can do the bikini area. So 
that's good to know. I feel like this is really good for summertime because I feel like in the summertime you tend to shave a lot more um, if you're wearing swimsuits and things like that and obviously breakouts and things like that aren't fun and they do happen. So I, this actually, I'm, I'm actually pretty interested in this. Um, you apply a generous layer to clean skin. You leave it on for 10 minutes until it's dried completely and then you rinse with warm water or a washcloth and you can use one to two times a week as desired. So this is appropriate for underarms, bikini area and face. Okay, really, really cool. I like that. I mean, I know sometimes, I haven't had it recently, but sometimes I do get like, you'll get like acne under your arm, like when you shave or an ingrown and it just, ugh, is not fun. Um, oh, and this is like a squeezy tube. It has like three, okay, interesting. I am very intrigued by this product. I don't know how much it costs and why they didn't put the retail value, but very exciting. Up next, we have a product from Ever Skincare, and this is their Smooth Peptide Lip Therapy in Petal, which retails for $26. So just, I think, like some sort of like a lip balm, like a tinted lip balm, maybe? It's in this pretty white plastic packaging with like a rose gold on it. Ooh, very, very pretty color. I am so into that color. I do want to swatch it. Oh, it does a very sheer hint of tint. <laughs> that was rhymed. Um, so if you're not somebody who, you know, you don't want a lot. Oh, it smells good too. It just kind of smells like lip balm in a good way. Like that cocoa buttery type. Um, so this is an ultra nourishing lip treatment that conditions while firming and plumping with a blend of peptides, shea butter, and magnolia oil. Um, and ha can ha enhance lip volume and leave lips feeling more hydrated and supple. So a nice little lip balm. I love a tinted lip balm. This is something I will get a ton of use out of. I think it's a really pretty color and I'm very happy to have it. Up next, we have this Dionys Goat Milk Skincare um, Blue Ridge Wildflower Goat Lotion Body Lotion, which retails for $15. I want to smell this because this sounds amazing. Okay, it doesn't smell as amazing as it sounds. I'm going to be really honest. It smells more like the wildflower, like I was thinking it was gonna smell maybe more like less natural. This smells just like natural floral. I thought it might taste, I mean, natural can be nice, but sometimes I like a little more of like artificial fun and this did not give artificial fun, but that's okay. It's not my favorite scent, but it's not a bad scent. Um, so this is a deeply moisturizing and naturally enriched with high amounts of protein, fats and vitamins, as well as minerals to help retain skin's moisture and hydrates dry skin. Dry, dry, thirsty skin with no greasy residue. Um, it does have a light floral fragrance. It's inspired by the Blue Ridge Mountains Upland Meadows. I feel like this scent might give me a headache. I don't, I, I'm, the, I don't really like this scent. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really love a lot of floral scents unless it's like a floral sweet slash floral into like food type scent. So for me personally, I don't really like this scent. Not bad. I feel like the scent, a floral scent is more of like a spring box type of situation. Not that it can't be, I guess there's wildflowers in the summer too. But for me, like a lotion is great. It's a cruelty-free lotion. It's a goat milk lotion. I think it's really, really awesome. But for me, I don't know if, I don't think I'll use it because I don't like the scent. So those are all of the beauty products in the box. You do also get a the New Beauty magazine with each of these. So this is their 2023 New Beauty Awards Spring 2023 magazine. So you get the spring magazine in the summer box. Anyway, that's fine. Um, I do love learning about their beauty awards and things like that. So it's just a little beauty magazine where you can learn so much more about different products and things like that. So you do get a nice magazine. And the nice thing is because they put it in the box, it's a really nice, clean, pristine one. It's not one that's all scuffed up because it went through the mail and has the sticker on it and everything. Like, it's very nice. All right, so that is everything in the test tube beauty box for summer of 2023. I thought this was actually a really good test to beauty box. I don't, I haven't been a fan of all of them, but I do feel like they've kind of stepped up their game for summer. I think I'm most excited for maybe this and this and the lip balm and this and this. These are the things that I am most excited about and probably will get a lot of use out of. Um, the other things are still great, don't get me wrong, but they're not like more of a daily, that's not something that's already like super into my routine. It may not integrate well, um, but would love, love, love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of the Test Tube Beauty Box for Summer? Do you like the products inside? Have you tried AAM? Which ones are you excited about? Which ones are you not excited about? I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. If you're interested in signing up, I will leave a link down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.